Hello, darling. <laughs> we did a little check. I'm just going to take the top off of my fridge, on frere. Take the top off you, chaps, Daz. And Ooh. it just feels like a good day today. It does feel like a so good day today. So I've got a big glass I have a wriggling chihuahua here, so... So, big glass. Big glass, big glass, okay. And this is... Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Daz. So what am I doing? What are you doing? I am doing another one of my celebrity specials. And who's this for? This is for Jenny Faulkner, mm -hmm. who is the host of Smooth Radio. Yeah. And also a great TV presenter, but she's a very good golfer as well, I have to say. She's good at it. Very good golfer. She's good at it. So I asked her what was her favourite meal, and she said, and one of our favourites, mm. chicken and ham pie. Yummy. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some few bits and pieces into it. Like so if you leaks. don't want, like leeks, and a few other, a few other bits and pieces. pieces. So we're going to put, I've got some beautiful shallots here. So I'm going to do shallots and, and I'm going to do this my way. Of course, I'm going to do it my way. You will see lots of ways of doing it. Yeah. Basically, we're going to make a wonderful sauce. Leeks, yeah. So we've got leeks, shallots, ham, mm -hmm. of course, parsley and garlic, yeah. butter for my velouté. Mm -hmm. We are making a thing called a chicken velouté. Chicken breast. Some cream, some eggs to go on the pastry and some great chicken breasts. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do... Yeah. There are so many ways of doing the chicken for the pie. By the way, this is a brilliant Boxing Day meal. Mm. You can use your turkey up. Do everything I'm doing, just oh, use turkey and not turkey. chicken. Good Great, tip. great, great, great Good Boxing tip, Day meal. Does. But I've got four breasts of chicken here. Four big four breasts. breasts. We're gonna open them, just open them, and I'm gonna just seal them in my pan, put them in the oven really slowly. Oh. Other people boil it and chop it up. But I know, but then they yeah. use... I just think if you boil chicken... No. Whatever you do with chicken, no. if you boil it, it doesn't work. No. So, let's start the process. Okay, I'll come round. So, all we're going to do is, at the moment, it doesn't really matter how we open this. We're just going to open it up because we want to fry, fry, season, sorry, season and fry, fry. Yeah. And then we're going to put it in the oven nice and slowly, just so yeah. we're going to... We don't want to... We're not trying to roast it or do anything. We just want to get it so we can cut it and add it to our sauce. And a bit of flavour when you fry it, it'll add and, a bit of flavour. Yeah, and we're going to put a bit of flavour in it. So we're just going to open it up yep. like this and then we're going to stick it in the pan. First job. First job is to, there's our four pieces of chicken. Mm -hmm. Good season, yep. really good season. Okay, salt and pepper. Season being salt and pepper. Yeah. I think people know that by now. Right. And then we're just going to put it in this pan and we just want to like literally turn over. That's, fine. That's, fine. That's my cooking noise. Yeah. So um, that's your searing noise. It's my searing noise, yeah. Yeah, okay. We're probably about there. Get them on, there we baby. Are. So one, two. Okay, okay. two minutes. Like um, a couple of minutes each side? Yeah, a couple of minutes each side. Okay. Come back and we'll, we'll flip and come back. Are you going to season it? A bit more seasoning on this side. Yeah. Okay. So how long is it? Maybe a minute? Yeah. Maybe a minute. You know what much colour? We're not, we're not trying to do it. It's just really just to... Give it a bit of flavour. Yeah, well, I just want it to... We're going to put them in the oven for probably only 15 minutes. And then we're going to let them cool down. And whilst we're going to do all that, we're going to start the sauce. And we're also going to use this pan for... Are you all right, darling? Just having a look at your, <laughs> having a look at your outfit in the meantime. And we're going to use this pan for my leek and my... Oh, lovely. So you have lovely keep flavour. The, keep all the flavour. Yeah, keep all the flavour. Okay, look. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, That's exactly what we want. That's all we want. There we go. Perfect. Oh. Another couple of minutes. And then they're going to go on there. And they're going to put them on here. And, the and any juice we get from here, we yeah, will keep. It. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Okay, so they're out now. So they're out. They're going to go in the oven for 20, no, 10, 10 15 minutes or so. Okay. In the meantime, yeah. we'll start the next bit. So right. I'm going to turn this down, put a dash of olive oil in here. And we've got two things to do now. We've got to make our sauce, but we've got 
we've still got, let's say we've got 15 minutes for the chicken, we've got 15 to 20 minutes, let it cool down. So we've got half an hour to play with before we have to think about putting it all together. Okay. And we've got to roll out our pastry yet. Okay. Okay. So now we need to chop up the leeks. Yeah. And I'm going to also, I'm going to roughly chop those. I love these shallots. I, I, I wasn't actually going to put shallots in the beginning, but I am now. So now we want them so big. Mm -hmm. So so big, so we're going to chop up all the leeks. So good that. bite size. Yeah, I think so. We don't want it all to disappear, but it won't disappear. And leeks are great because they've got that sort of... Oniony leek flavour. Leek flavour. <laughs> leek flavour, <laughs> flavor, which is oniony flavour. Yeah. And then a little boost of onions as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're putting them all in, yeah? I'm going to put all these leeks yeah, in. Yeah, yummy. And then... Okay, leeks are done. And leeks now onto your, onto your shallots. That shallot... Okay. That shallot, oh gosh, the old ones are the best. Okay. Right, so I think I'm going to do that half and half. Yeah. That's my plan. And you don't have to use shallots, you can use onions. You don't have to use them at all, actually, by the way. In fact, you don't have to use leeks if you don't want to. But it's sort of, what's the point, really? Well, um, but some people might not like leeks. Well. Sorry, just get that knife. So I think that sort of... That sort of size, because yeah. we don't want this is all about. These are gonna these will just sort of slowly blend in. Yeah. And so I'm gonna put these in first of all, start these rolling, and then we will put the oh these are quite strong. Jesus. They are, aren't they, mate? Okay. Right, let's have on. a let's have a crying. I have out. tears rolling down my eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we've recovered from the Liquid. powerful shallots. Right. And we've all <laughs> quite been all right. Yeah, <laughs> they were very powerful. Which is good. That's what you need. Okay. So we're gonna just sweat those off. Yeah. Really not really much colour. Just give those a few minutes, or a minute or so. I'm gonna add the leeks. Yeah. And then of course we'll start adding the garlic. The garlic. Not we never soon. do the garlic too soon or we not burn the garlic. Soon. And then I'm going to come back in a minute. We'll finish this bit off. We're going to park it. We're going to leave it over there. Yep. Then we're going to make the sauce. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yep. So these go in now. The leeks are going in. Onions are just doing like... Onions are there. there. Leeks are going in. Yeah. And now, the price is right. I'm going to put a bit of butter in. Oh, okay. Well, butter hasn't sort of been one of my... Haven't been around for ages, has it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put some butter in. You've already got some olive oil in and some butter. Yeah, butter will okay. just give it a beautiful, beautiful flavour. Yeah. Okay, so how long should we leave this one out? Well, I'm going to let those cook through. So at the moment it's on quite a big heat. On the moment it's on quite a big heat. In the minute I'm going to turn it down. I don't really want any colour. I just want it to just mm -hmm. mush up and go beautifully. The so they can go down a bit now. Okay, come back in a minute. Come back in a minute. So whilst that one's there going away, yeah. you could don't have to do all this at once if you don't want to. I'm going to start making my velouté, which is basically, all a velouté is, is a bechamel, yeah. but we're going to use chicken stock. Okay. So if you use chicken stock or fish stock, you end up with a fish velouté or a chicken velouté. Now, I'm then going to add some milk and add some cream to my sauce. Okay. And then we're going to put it all together. How much longer for these guys? Um, oh, they're still a while. I mean, I'll turn them down now, so there's no rush. Can I just give them a... Yeah, look, there's no rush, but they're just going to emulsify into there. They're not quite emulsified. They're just going to... No, the stroke's on there. Okay. 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 I love colours. I love colour of vegetables and everything. Okay. So this is on a slow heat. The thing about bechamel, or veloutes, we would coin it as the same at the moment is don't burn the butter, don't burn it, because you, you don't want the milk to catch. Yeah. So it's we're just going to let that, look, you can just see that butter yeah. just melting down. We've done so many um, bechamel um, lessons, if you like, but we'll just go through this one because it's slightly different. Okay. Yep, okay. So we're so, adding now the garlic. So I'm going to put quite a lot of garlic in. I like garlic. You have as much garlic as you want to but that will just now cook into that. Okay. 
evening. And give that, what, one more minute maybe? Just one more minute? Oh no, I think we're, we're, we're quite all right now because it's really low heat. Just, it's just gonna sweat through. But now what we're How on. Long? Oh, sorry, about another five minutes, I think. Okay. But now, now we're on white sauce. So now you can see all the butter's yeah. melted. So plain we want, flour. So you want plain flour. So now how much flour? Well, I'll show you what you need. You can always put more flour in, you can't really take it out. So actually, that's not the bad amount actually straight away, was it? So the idea is... So you need to cook the flour. Yeah. You need... Huh. That's it. Cook the flour out and you have some, like a sandy texture. Yes. You can see, you can see that sort of colour. So you're cooking the flour out now. Now that's hot in there, and when, I, when we put the, the liquid in, you'll see. So cook it out to a point, yeah. but don't burn it. Yeah. Don't burn it. So to a point, a minute, two minutes? Yeah, well it all depends on how high. We're on a low heat here, so it's a safe heat. You see? Yeah. Sandy texture. Okay. That's a nice terminology, I like that. Sandy texture. And just give it a minute or so yeah. to cook the flour through. And this is still... And then I think now we can give it a little toast. Mind yourself. Look at that. That's beautiful. 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 And now we can smell the garlic. Okay, so now we're back over here. Okay. So now we're going to start adding some chicken stock. Okay. Right? How hot that is. Even though it's on a low heat. Now you've got to whisk in the chicken stock, and this is going to get thicker and thicker and thicker very, very quickly. Okay. So, you see how thick it gets? So you're just basically getting all that off there. And you just do the same thing again, let it cook out just a dash. And if you just used this method, you would make a beautiful chicken sauce. And if you added some parsley and everything else. But we're going to add some cream and we're going to turn it in because it's into our chicken and ham. Okay, so you're going to add so more? Now we start add a bit more now. And this is quite a powerful chicken stock. And you just use. Like, but this one, I haven't, because I didn't have time to make a sauce. So this is, I've just used some of those. Stock. Yeah, the stock. The liquid sort stocks. of stock cubes. Yeah, like the jelly sort of ones. Yeah. Coming together beautifully. Yeah. And you just cook it out. You've got to watch your white. When you're making white sauces, don't just sort of wander off and watch the TV. No. Otherwise, it'll stick and it will catch. But now you can see how beautiful your consistency is. And this is okay here, Tom, yeah? And it's still just running away. Very really nice. Still like that there. Give that a little turn. You don't have to do it all together if you don't want to, but I can still feel that those leeks still need a bit more cooking. Okay. That. Now we're back here. The rest of that chicken stock. There we go. So you go careful with the first turn so you don't splash it yeah, all well, everywhere. Yeah, we don't splash it over you. You know, over yeah. you. I get some lovely um, questions about do I ever get myself covered in food? No, you're and very I good. I really do. But if you were rushing, then that's the time you probably will. So now you can see it's really starting to look a bit like a sauce. Yeah. And now we're going to start adding some milk now. So we're going to take it from the velouté stage, which More is what it is, sauce. into a white sauce. But you can see it's all coming together beautifully. See that? How oh, isn't that lovely? You're so good at sauce. This sauce is so good. That's it. Okay. So we've done our and chicken stock. Milk's so not we can take that over here. Okay. Not far away from that yeah. Now, I'm going to leave that over there for a minute. Yeah. I'm going to put my milk in here. Right. Just put in so much. Now, again, when you're making these sauces, Should slowly, turn. slowly, slowly, because you don't want it to be too thin now. Should we turn the big ring off? Uh, we can. Right. Right. Catching. So now... Sorry, yeah, you were over. I was over. <laughs> I was roasting. <laughs> So, so I was a plant. those bits and pieces are bits from the chicken stock, yep. so that's fine. Wow. Okay. Looks so good. So that is there, like that. That's there, like that. Now, mm -hmm. I'm also to take a bit 
take the chicken out. Oh, forgot about that. Forgot about the chicken. Forgot about the chicken, that's your house looking. So, that's fine. Oh, Jean, you said you've got some juices. Now, that beautiful juice. Okay. That's really good, isn't it? That's really good. Yeah, that's really cooked down. You can see. Yeah, that's just about where I want it to be. Now, back onto this one. Okay. So you can see the consistency of this sauce. Okay. Now, that as that cooks through, and we've got a few minutes to wait in a minute because we're going to let that calm down. Yeah. We're going to let these cool down cool so we down. can cut them up in lovely little chunks. That's going to cool, yeah. And then we're going to mix the whole lot together. But in here, you can see it's still very thick. So it's as it cooks through, it thickens and thickens. Yeah. So I'm now going to add into here. Oh, cream. So cream. And that will equally cook through, just like the milk, but it will adding amazing flavor. I mean, gosh. The veggie looks so beautiful, doesn't it? Looks amazing. So we'll cook that. And this is double cream, just remember. Yeah. Sorry, that's a really important point. Not you can't single. put single cream yeah. in because the single cream so will loose. curdle. It'll curdle, right. Yeah. So whenever you cook, Always you double. cook with double cream. So you see how thick that is? So I'm yeah. just going to let that cook out of dash. Okay. And you can sort of have a, you know, just watch this. And now we've we got can to wait for that for 10 minutes. You've got that. You can just have a little thing. But well, we're going to get our pastry ready in a minute. Okay. Um, I'm going to have a but have a glass of champagne. <laughs> Good idea. So, whilst I've been waiting for everything, everything's come to a stop at the moment, which is right. perfect. So, okay. I've rolled my pastry out. Look, how do you measure your pastry? Well, look, that's how I did it. Okay. So, I know that. And I'm going to take some edges off. I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. Okay. So, over here, everything's come to a stop. Leeks and onions and garlic stock, ham ready to go in, white sauce, chicken velouté sauce stock. And you've just bought cooked ham. I bought some cooked ham, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you wouldn't do. No. You would just okay. buy some cooked ham with this. And that's or chives. maybe often, you know, um, for Christmas people yeah. have ham, ham. Christmas ham. So, you know, again, this is why I use it. So here we are. Here's that. Now, this is moist. Mm. We haven't got that horrible dry thing. So I think what we're going to do is just literally do it like this. In chunks. And I think I'm just going to chop it into nice little chunks, like that. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. That's my just idea. So I'm going to carry on doing that. Okay. And these beautiful little chunks of chicken. And then we just um, combine. And we then we're going to put it all together. Yep. And then yep. we'll cover it with pastry. Lovely. Chicken. There we are, my chicken. This is your last chicken chunks. There we Get go. Get every last right. one. Right, now. Where are those last little bits there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Right. So now. Yeah. Now, oh, now. I've got to pick up Eduardo. Now we start. I think it's okay. No, it's not. Now, okay. this is where we start. First of all, we're going to add all of the leek and onions into this sauce. Okay. Can you hear okay there, baby? I've got the same amount of yeah, ham. Yeah, same amount. What do you reckon? Put, Put it all in, baby. Put, Put it all in. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot of ham. Okay, and I'm just going to give us a little stir around at the moment. Jenny's going to love this. Yeah, this is a good one. This is the sort of thing, Jenny, this is the sort of thing I would be often talk of to golf clubs of what we should have. Yes. And you imagine this sort of chicken and ham, chicken and ham um, pie <gasps> as you come in off the golf course yes. in the winter. Yes, perfect. And you have a little pot of chicken and ham pie. Oh, and this delicious. is, by the way, this way, this, I'm, I'm calling this pie. Are you a, calling it Jenny's pie? It, no, okay. <laughs> I could call it a Jenny pie. 
but it's actually going to have a crust on top. Okay. So it's a it's a pie with a top, if you like. Like not a pastry top. Well, it's a pastry top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pastry top. But instead of some people think of a pie, you know, where you have the whole pie and you have yeah. the pastry in the middle, uh, you have the the meat in the middle. This is a a, a chicken and ham pie with a pastry top. Okay, don't worry. Are you going to put the um, LA chives? What are they? What's that over there? So my final bit. Mm. Look at that one piece of chicken. Going <gasps> and then these are just. This is just parsley. Parsley. Okay. Now, how pretty does that look? It looks so pretty. I mean, and that, all your food's pretty. Oh, well, thank you, darling. But that really does look it's an amazing. absolute of deliciousness. Mm. Did you hear the way? Um, did you um, hear the way Nigella said um, microwave the other day? No. She called it a, um, what did she call it? A microwave. A mirror, a mirror, a mirror, a mirror, a mirror, a mirror or something. No, a no. Mirror a micro, a mirror, a mic. Somebody will tell us what she said. It was brilliant. Anyway, the look at that. Looks incredible. That is incredible. Now, what we'll do in a minute. So we definitely just, need to have this on um, Boxing Day. This is the Boxing Day meal of yeah, all Boxing Day meals. For sure. And look at my little tree. See my tree? It's not your tree. It's my tree. It's our tree. Uh, it's your tree. My arena tree. Right. Okay. So, before we do anything at all. Taste it. We have got to taste this because this is going to be the last time we see this on its own. <laughs> wow. Good. Oh my God. I have to say. Yummy. I actually don't. Perfectly seasoned. Perfectly seasoned. I kind of got my invisalign in. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there. Yeah. Turn the heat off. We're ready to go. Okay. Don't need anything else with that. Okay. Okay. Are we doing this then? We're over here now. Yeah. Right. So now what's happening? So what we're going to do, you might say, and you will be right if you yeah. think there is far too much. Um, filling. Filling in there. So I'm just making one to show you. We're going to make some more after this. Okay. So I'm going to put, I'm going to make this in here and I'm just going to go around the edge. Is that egg? With some egg wash. Because I'm just going to stick, I like a little edge. Mm. So I'm going to take this off. Now I measured that earlier on, so we yeah. know that's going to fit. I'm just going to take the edge off here. It doesn't really matter how it goes, because this is just your a little edge. Right. And I'm just going to stick it on the edge around yes. here. Now I'll puff on. I've seen you do this before now, I remember. Okay, and so we can just go round. So the, are you, know, you actually just not doing a full pie? You're just doing a top? I'm doing the, yes, just a pie. Well, no, so a chicken and ham pie, that, as of a pie like this, will have the chicken and ham here and have a beautiful crust top on top. So it's not a real pie? Well, it is a pie. No, it is not. a pie. It is a pie. No, it's not. It is a pie. It is not. It is a casserole. No, it's with not a piece okay. of pastry on top. It's not, darling. It's a pie. It's a it's a it's a pot pie. How about that? Mm. Or a dish pie. But this is a how. Dish pie. Well, this is how I've made all your pies before. I feel like it's too. And they've easy. never actually been. They've never. You've never mentioned it before. I wish I'd never mentioned it now. <laughs> yeah, you've been ripping me off. No, I haven't. Right here you've we go. You've been short changing me on the pastry. Well, like a full pie. Then, I'm a proper girl, Aussie girl. Yeah, to do that, we would have to start all over again. We would have Why? to start, well, because we'd have to be putting pastry inside and we'd have to have shortcut pastry. We couldn't use puff pastry, etc., etc., etc. Now, I hope I haven't cut too much off now. No, you've been talking. Right. Okay. Now, I think. I'm quietly devastated. I think. Okay. I'm going to have a bit of. The more seasoning? I'll just put a dash more salt in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Now. We are going to put this okay. incredible mix in here. The casserole. <laughs> Jenny's going to be upset. No, she's not. This is exactly no, what Jenny is. wanted. I reckon you could put it all in there. I don't think we'll get it all in. Okay. I've got some extra just in case. Although we never know. I reckon you're going to get it all in. Do you reckon? Because mm -hmm. you don't want it to be half full. No. Especially since we're so short of pastry. We've got loads of pastry. So I think... But then you've got this gap. No, I've got some more to make. I've got to make a couple of small ones. Okay. I don't think there's a gap, because that's going to... Okay. Maybe I'll put a dash more in. There we go. Right. Okay. 
but that's beautiful there. Now, I want to go around here. Yeah. There we go. And then... Wait, this is a little trick. You didn't, you sort of, oh, very nice, Dazzler. You liked that bit, did you? Yeah, that chewed me off a bit. That chewed me off. Okay, so let's go reel it off. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go around and seal it off, and then what I'm just going to do now is just cut the edges off around mm -hmm. here. So I'll just cut these off around here. And then what we might do is make a few little leaves. Make some shapes. Yeah. So we get some more pastry on top, since we're so short of it elsewhere. <laughs> Darling. Devastated about the pastry. Okay, I'll just keep playing with this and okay. come back in a minute. All right. Okay, so we've just made a Incision. breathing hole for the steam, the steam hole. Eddie's barking his head off. And we're going to roll that again. Roll that out again. Yep. Okay. Now, now I'm going to just I'll, to. I'll pick him up. Yeah. What so you, you can either do this. Yeah. I do a fork, but you do the thing. If you do a fork, you can do it this way. Nice. I use the edge of a knife. You can do it this way. Push them. So we can pinch. Pinch. Use a fork. Do whatever you want. Pinch. I'll be nice. pinching you if you keep moaning about my pie. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see who's in agreement with me. I think. I have to say, from this point of point where we are, mm -hmm. it looks pretty good to Boy, me. Delicious. Okay, so I'm now we obviously have to dust with egg wash. I'll carry on doing this and then and I'm then just you're gonna, gonna make more shapes. Yeah, I'll come back to you in yeah. a minute. Okay. So you're just picking up the last bits of the um Yeah, a bit of those trimmings, that's trimmings. all we've got. Yep. Yeah. And, and then I'm just going to a bit of flour, roll it out. And you can are you gonna do leaves? I'm gonna do a couple of leaves, yeah, I think. Have you got that little pass with a little knife? Just do one, two, three. Maybe get one more here. Oh, you make them sort of stand up a bit. That's cute. Oops, the wrong way with that one. You can see it better here. That looks really sweet. Two and see how they go. You made them all three dimensional, it looks really good. Is that okay? And that one can go just there, can't it? That one can yep. go. Tuck him in there. He's happy. Let's see. Look at him. Just try gently, gently, gently. Mm. And then how long should we bake it for in the oven? Well, that's a very good question. Until it's done. It <laughs> half an hour? Yeah, I think half an hour. There we go. See that one. It's a bit warm, so there we go. There we'll you go. see how they work. Pinch. I'm just going to put a little dash of mm. salt on top. Where is my salt? Oh. Oh. No, I just like a bit of salt on top. Have they done that before? Yeah, okay. It's like okay. putting sugar on top of pie. Okay. Okay, now, let's can you pop, should just pop it put in? it in? Yeah. Okay, so half well, an hour or so. I think so. Let's okay. see where we go. Okay, darling, right. we are there. It's been about 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
careful when you get him out. Oops. Oh, careful when you get him out. And there we go. And there. Whoops. Let me just push that on there. Daisy, looking good. Look at that. Wow. Um, okay. That is. Should we see inside, or are you going to leave it to rest? I'm just going to leave it. We'll do another one in a minute. Leave it to rest. But okay. look at that. Look at it's that. Amazing. Look at the gloss. And do you know what you could do now? Mm -hmm. And I might well do it. You can put some egg wash over the top. Why it's really hot? Mm -hmm. I might well do that. But anyway, Jenny, fabulous. This is what we should have after our next game of golf. <laughs> I sure want that. Well, maybe I'll bring one with me. Well done, Dad. All right, lots of love. Thank Bye, you. Jenny. So look, I just, I know we've just finished that dish and I said I was going to just add some more egg wash. And you see what happens? It absolutely beautifully glazes it. And then that, of course, because it's still so hot, um, just seals onto the, onto the pastry as we let all this cool down. Whoops, there we go. Now that looks well it looks amazing anyway i think but anyway looks even better